Before we move on to our next topic? Nope, proceed. Okay, so we're going to be talking about Chloe Bailey and people making fun of Chloe Bailey. Like, I've heard, like I've seen it in the news that, that she's been called a pick me and it's gone to a point where she had to apologize and she was crying on her Instagram live and all that other stuff because mm-hmm. she did a silhouette challenge. And Dion, if you might ask, usually, you know, I start and people ask, can I go first? Go ahead. Okay. I just, I just want to, I just want to say this because I, the, like, I know we was talking in the chat earlier. And you like put out your speech and all that stuff. I, I just want to give my perspective on this thing. First things first, there was not a lot of black. Like I know, like people like to blame black men for this, but I'm gonna say this. I'll tell you, you cannot blame black men. On, there was not a lot of black men in there. I think the people in the chat try to throw black men in there, but. Hindsight, it wasn't. A, it was not a lot of black men, or it, there was some, but not enough to go like, oh, we like black men were the problem. It was mostly women. I would say ninety percent women, maybe ninety five percent women. But I will even go to say ninety nine point nine percent women. Like the men that every every post I saw from men, they didn't have a problem with it. It was either like. Um, I was like they was they was happy that like it was cool that she was doing it, or it was just like they was making you know j- jokes and all that other stuff like you know people do it like damn she looked fine, like damn she looked fine, or it was just like you know uh, there was memes and all that shit like the Jerry like it was her when she did this one pose and it compared it to Jerry Mouse. That's the most you got out of man. But the people that was really hating on it was the women. So one thing okay. I do want to so the one thing I do want to say is like leave black men out of this because we did not. There was no way you should be blaming black men for this or black men should be out because it was the women and even the women would tell you they was the most of the haters. And like even though like the people in our chat said it like it was mostly women, it's like you cannot and I maybe because this is a pet peeve of mine is I don't like to get blamed for shit that I don't do. Or I don't Amen. like to see, and I don't like to see people get blamed for shit that like it wasn't like our problem or our cause. So this is why when like shit don't have to do with us, and you got to blame black men because you know people generalize, uh, like internally they internally generalize without doing it. So that's why I said like black men didn't have a like black men wasn't really the problem. And um, the other thing I want to say is, is like from the ages, and I tell everybody this, from the ages of, I would say, 16 to 25, you are trying to find yourself not only mentally, physically, or who you are, you're trying to find yourself sexually, what you like, what you don't like, what looks good on you. This is like, what are your turn offs and what are your turn on? So I feel like... Um, She's always had this like goody goody image because you know she's been with Beyonce and like she was mad. I think she was managed by Beyonce and all that other stuff. And like, yeah, she's been, yeah, Beyonce discovered her and um her sister. Yeah, yeah, and like you always see them together. So like now they're apart. She's like she's trying to find out her own identity. Like no one's having a problem with that, and I've like no men is having a problem with that. So like, but everybody put. Less for the women that was hating on her. Let's stop acting like you yourself like have tried to figure out who you are mentally, physically, or sexually because you can't be knocking her. Because I feel like this is the age where you're supposed to know who you are or like you're exploring new identities of who you are. So please leave Chloe Bailey alone. It's like she didn't do nothing. In fact, matter of fact, compared to other silhouette challenges or even a busted challenge, her shit was the most innocent. Like the shit I've been seeing on silhouette challenges, I seen girls be butt naked and like they pussy lips. I, I seen I seen one where she was flat out on top of her dude riding. Her. Yo, yeah, it's just like you got people actually having sex and all that stuff. You look at Chloe, you look at uh, you look at Chloe's. That shit was choreographed, like it was a dance routine and all that other stuff. And she, like she just had skin tight clothing on it. She wasn't naked like some of these women are. Like <laughs> it's just like. I don't know. I saw one day, and it's like the titties was out, and like she had big breasts, so them big ass titties was everywhere. And then she like I seen one. Eat. I seen one. Matter of fact, this the silhouette thing. It was it was it was a white girl. You, you she she clearly had on. You seen the butt plugs with the foxtails in them and shit. Yeah, she had one of them. Right. So. So like so like I, I think I think and the reason why I think people could um uh, picked on Chloe Bailey because I feel like she's a soft target. Like you know, like 
I feel like a lot of people when they bully, they bully the soft target. They don't bully people like you yeah. Know, that's what bullies do. That's what all bullies do. They go for what they think is the easy target. Yeah, they go, they go for and like I'm I'm not saying she's soft, but she just looked like easy pickings because like she young and she's still trying to figure out you know everything you know everything you just said. She's still trying to figure herself out, so it was easy for uh, a hating ass. You know, a hating ass pick me because the pick me's are the ones bitching at her. Let's be blatantly honest about that. The nah, real pick me's are the ones, I don't you know, that, attacking her. No, I, I, and this here is another thing. I don't think that, in, I don't, first of all, I don't like the term pick me at all. Because, no, because, let's, let's call it what, no, hold on. No, no, this no, no, is no, no, this no, 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 what I wanted to, yeah, go ahead, go, go, go. Hold on, let me let me finish. I don't like I don't like the term pick me. It's the same as coon because most people don't know. I like I know what a coon look like, but I don't like the word coon because most people don't like if you disagree with them, you're like you're a coon. But the most of the people that was doing it was feminists. It was that's what I was that's another thing. It wasn't no pick me people, it was feminists, because feminists only call feminists are the ones that call women pick me's when they defend men. And like that's why that's why people get called pick me. Like Aisha Curry, she gets called a pick me a lot. But like I said, you can't be a pick me if you're already picked. Like Aisha Curry is married. Yeah, that, that yeah, that I was about to say that's kind of stupid. She has her dude. What do you Yeah, she got her <laughs> man. And the person she defends to the death is her man. So you calling her a pick me is just like it's stupid. It's like she got a man, she's married. But right. I feel like a lot of things is just misconstrued. And then even in the chat, it was like, but I let them have their peace because you know. That's what the chat is for. You can say they peace, but a lot of them was wrong. I just didn't feel like fighting it. But um, but if they listen to it right now, like that's basically like my perspective on it. So go ahead, Dion. Now, see, here's where what I was originally getting ready to say came into play. A lot of these broads, let's and I've I've seen like after like really like looking into the situation, the a lot of the women who were like the main ones whining and complaining about her doing whatever. Nobody nobody wants y'all. Nobody wants y'all. I seen I seen what a lot of you bros look like. The main one like the main ones who were real uppity about, you know, speaking out against her and attacking her and shit. Y'all are the ones that nobody fucking wants. So I understand why y'all are mad. <laughs> but well, welcome, Leon. um the other thing I was going to say, you know, and, and again, you touched on this before, you know, she's still she, on one hand. Yeah. She's still trying to figure out some things, but at the same time, she's still a whole ass adult. She's 20. What now? 22. Yeah. Yeah. She a whole ass adult. She's old enough to drink and everything. I don't know whether or not she actually drinks, but she's old enough too. she has the choice. She has the option, but you know, uh, I don't I don't get it. I, also, I, I mean, Cardi doing silhouette challenge, and no one go after Cardi. La la, it's Car it's Cardi. They know people are still people are still upset that she hasn't, you know, given a fuck about people coming at her after the WAP challenge. They know Cardi don't give a fuck. They're not going to try her. So again, someone who doesn't care, as opposed to the um um. Uh, Assumed soft target that was Chloe um, Bailey. Of course, they're not going to try Cardi. I was about to say, and like, you ain't hear a peep from it. And like, same thing with Carmelo's wife, Lala. She did a silhouette challenge. Now, she wasn't naked, she had like skin tight clothes on, but it's like I said, it's some people they go after, some people they don't. It's just like, it's just like, um, yeah, they picked the soft target. So, like, that that's why I was like leave Chloe Bailey alone. Like her shit was innocent compared to the other shit. Cause some of y'all women, like I'm not gonna say y'all do it for attention and or y'all do it to be sexy, but y'all wild the shit. Some of the shit I've seen, like and y'all wonder why niggas be creeps. Is <laughs> ah oh, man, like this is. You know, and I know one of the people in the chat, she was like, I can't believe they're trying to take the filter off. I'm like, I can't. It's like <laughs> if you bold enough to do and this is and this is what I say about anything, not just not just women, but men or you know, people that you know do or say stupid shit. If you're bold enough to put it on the internet, you gotta be bold enough to take the criticism. It's like it's public. You put it out in the public, you're gonna have to get public opinion. So people gonna have pieces, they're gonna have think pieces, they're gonna have critique your shit. To, and they may say some shit you don't like, but you put it out there. 
It's like it's the same Wait. thing when I put my podcast out there. If someone disagrees, like, all right, then it's, just, like, it's up there for discussion. Let's t- let's have a talk about it. Which, which brings me that brings me to what I wanted to say, and I'm directing this 